Hi, I'm Crystal. Today I'm making a super quick birthday card using some really basic supplies. I'm going to start out by stamping, and I'm using a Tim Holtz clear stamp set. This is a set that comes with a stencil, and they're, they're sold by Joann's. I've got a link in the description box if you're unfamiliar. And I'm going to um, use a stamping platform. Obviously an acrylic block would be fine, um, but I also have a link in the description um, for some stamping platform options, including a DIY version. So I'm stamping in a waterproof ink since I am going to use watercolor paint. So it's hybrid ink. You could also use pigment. And once I've got the cat and the balloon stamped, I need to add my little balloon string. And the string is extra long, so I'm going to mask off the, the excess by um, putting a post-it note over the balloon. So now that I've got all the stamping done in my waterproof ink, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring with some crayons. So I'm coloring the cat white, and uh, not much point in showing that. There's literally nothing to see on screen. But after I've painted the cat white, I'm going to paint my balloon in a cheerful yellow. And the wax will resist the watercolor paint. So um, that's going to be true anytime you do heat embossing, which is plastic, or coloring with wax. It'll resist the water at the watercolor. I'm also going to put a little bit of crayon right over my sentiment, and the wax is sheer, so you can paint right over the ink. No problem at all. You can see the sentiment just fine through it. You can see the details of the cat right through the crayon. Now I'm getting out my kids' watercolors. These are very inexpensive, I think less than $3. And you don't want to paint directly from the pan of paint. The, the color is going to be way too strong. So I'm putting a little bit of water on the paint, and I'm going to take the paint out to a different surface. I'm working on a silicone placemat. You could use the lid of the paint box or you could use a foam plate, um, but you just want to mix the paint with some water so that it's not excessively strong. Now that I've got my paint watered down a little bit, I'm going to mist the surface of my mixed media paper and just apply the paint right over my stamping. Now, it turns out I missed a couple spots on the cat and I don't want a blue cat. So I'm going to paint around the cat, but <clears throat> excuse me, because of the crayon, I don't need to be too fiddly with the edges of the cat. Since we're painting wet paint on a wet surface, it blends super easily and the paint spreads out really easily. So the painting here is very, very quick. It's very easy to do, very beginner friendly. You, you end up with a very custom color background, um, very charmingly handmade, and I just had a lot of fun doing that. I'm adding a little bit of purple at the top just to get a little bit of color variation in my background. Um, but the process is very quick and super fun. Just had so much fun doing this. So once I've got all of the painting done um, on the card, I'm going to set that aside to dry for a minute. And just for a little extra touch, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the envelope. I'm not going to paint the envelope. I'm just going to stamp my cat on the envelope. And then I'm going to give him a fun little party hat from the set. And I am going to color my party hat with a crayon. And I'm going to stick that right through the mail. It doesn't interfere with the address in any way. And because the ink is waterproof and the crayon is waterproof, it will not bleed in the rain. And we're done. Thanks for joining me today.